Okay, y'all, we're back from the waters. I was showing Steph some pictures of a wood duck. I was like, wouldn't that be cool if we had a mounted wood duck up in the loft? She's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Aren't they the ones that just, they look like all the other ducks? And I was like, no, they are not the ones that look like all the other ducks. She's never seen one up close. So I'm, I'm going to take one to her. I haven't even said hi to her this morning. So this is just gonna be a surprise. Hey babe. You're what? You're in a nursery? What y'all doing in there? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! We got one! Yay, Dad! Yeah, she's like, I'm Ooh. not so sure about that situation. <laughs> Ooh, it doesn't look like a stuffed animal, does it? Yeah, well, I just wanted to show you. It's pretty. I know I showed you pictures, but that's what they look like. That's a wood duck? That's a wood duck. Okay. Hi, I'm gonna go put these in some pantyhose. Do you have any pantyhose? I don't. Okay, <laughs> it's time to call mom. <laughs> My little extra special blend right there. I got turmeric, cinnamon, it's local honey. Uh, Turmeric's supposed to help with swelling, inflammation. As I get older, that comes into play. Cinnamon just makes me happy, that's all. I've got an odd question I need to ask my mom. Hi, you. Oh, hey, mama. Hey, what's up? Well, I got an odd question to ask. Okay. Do you have any pantyhose? <laughs> well, I think I have one pair. And are you gonna wear them today? No, nope, they're not for me. They're for a, a duck. I need them for a duck. You need them for a duck. Well, I think yeah. I got a pair of pantyhose. All right, I'll be right over. <laughs> hey, bye. Bye. I'm gonna show you guys the pantyhose thing. I've researched it. Uh, apparently you're supposed to use the pantyhose on these ducks to preserve their plumage. With the help of mom, we're gonna get this duck into some pantyhose. All right, can you can you open up that one in there, mom? Preserve the plumage. Okay, keep going. Okay, that's probably good. Thank you, mom. It's all nice and, and tight in there. It's plumage preserved. It's got no blood on it to stain its feathers. Woody the wood duck. Voila. I needed you this morning. I could have shot more ducks if, if I had you as a bird dog. I could have swam out there and got them. Oh. It was too deep for me. Actually, bulldogs don't swim too well. Steph makes these. They're the best outdoorsman breakfast ever. All you gotta do is just cut a slice and warm it up. But right in here, deer sausage, cheddar cheese, eggs, obviously. It's like a pie. It's, it's amazing. Babe, what made you want to make one of these with the deer sausage and all that? The fact that our freezer is literally full of it. But honestly, it's, the sausage is so good. Like I cook it up during the week and I just, I don't know, it just tastes so good. So I was like, we have to use it somehow instead of just eating it like link sausage. So just cut it up and threw it in there. If y'all are doing anything that involves burning calories or if you just, if you just want to power yourself and have a good day, don't be eating cereal. Don't be going all Tony the Frosted Flake Lion, whatever that thing is. I think he's a tiger, actually. That stuff is gonna leave you hungry in a couple of hours. This right here will fuel you properly, and it is delicious. So I'm gonna leave the link to, do you have this up on your it blog? Already up. Okay, Steph did this for her blog. It's delicious. I know probably a lot of you wanna try it. You don't have to use deer sausage, but I know there's a lot of hunters out there. You got leftover sausage. You're like, man, I don't know. I don't got enough friends to give this out to. Put it in some quiches. Have it for breakfast. Delicious. Let's finish off today's video. Let's see what kind of creatures are roaming around in the yard. I've got old Mr. Fox. Mr. Fox, he likes to come out. Coyotes. And we've got a buck that's been coming in. The other night there were some does as well. These does are basically right right here in front of the camera. I think they like the ryegrass that's down there. There's some winter ryegrass that's planted. Okay, last night, pesky coyotes, man. 
We got coyotes and we got foxes. I, don't, I love the, uh, the foxes. They're awesome, but these coyotes. Ew. That's a pretty good size one right there, man. Looks like a little wolf. I want to put chickens here, but I know if we put chickens, I'm constantly going to be battling foxes and coyotes, owls and, and hawks and everything too. What is that right there, that blur? Oh, it looks like a wreck. Freaking huge raccoon. Looks like another woodland creature here. Ah, oh, you never know what's roaming around at the treehouse. My life of just fishing, hunting, editing. How do you guys like this new corner though? I really like it. I was actually digging that shot that was just, I just put the camera up on the shelf and it looks really good. I like that a lot. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, y'all. And I've got a pack. I was just uh, on the phone with Lunkers TV and we've got a trip planned, a hunting trip to go do some more duck hunting and do some deer hunting, maybe some predator hunting out at the Guggen Ranch. And I have only seen pictures. I have not actually been out there myself. So I need to get out there. What am I doing? What am I doing? I've just been running around doing too many things, y'all. Time to head out to the Guggen Ranch. I'm gonna take y'all along, of course. So stay tuned, subscribe right here. Hit the ding-dongs for all the notifications so you don't miss a single bite or single thing that we're doing out there. And hopefully we're gonna get a lot more ducks this week. Maybe some teal, maybe some pintails, some really cool ducks. My first time I ever went out, I went mallard hunting up in Stuttgart, Arkansas, and it was amazing. The sky was filled with ducks. And since then, <laughs> I've gone on just basically public land hunts and not seen that many ducks. You know, I've come home with one or two, uh, maybe a limit every once in a while, but nothing like I saw up there. I'm excited. I'm excited to get back into duck hunting a little bit. And if y'all want to grab one of these hats that I'm wearing today, this is the uh, official Fishing Freak Covert option. It's got the black lettering instead of the orange, and that's uh, it's for all you duck hunters, waters, waterfowlsmans out there. And I've also got other camo patterns with the orange stitch, the classic orange FF. Thank you guys for all the support. My entire channel has been demonetized for a little while now, uh, a week or two. So it has been rough, rougher than corn cops here on the, on the Google AdSense. So I do appreciate you guys support. And on that note, God bless y'all. Have some fun in the outdoors and I'll see you on the next one.